Hey everyone, so I'm going to keep my voice down a little bit because uh, there is a um, French-speaking woman sleeping on my couch. I'm going to let that sink in for just a little bit. Um, I don't want to wake her, so here's what's up. Um, so this weekend I am coaching the Introduction Leaders Program at Landmark. Uh, that's a program that I took about a year and a half ago. It was like a seven and a half month long, really rigorous course that really trained and developed me in stepping into my own leadership. Um, and it really trained me to be someone who listens for and reliably delivers that which makes a real difference in what people are dealing with and what they really care about. Um, and in the process, leaves them transformed with more power, freedom, self-expression, and peace of mind. That sounds like something worth seven and a half months of your life, right? Um, the funny thing is, it works. It really works. Like, I've been in situations with people where I'm like, oh, I don't feel like being a leader. I don't feel like being a leader. But I know now that I have the distinctions of leadership and I know how to listen to people in a way that empowers them. Not the way that we usually want to listen, but we, we want to listen to commiserate, you know, and identify with people. Like, oh my God, that sucks. Oh my God, you're better off without her anyway. Like, oh my God, that must be so hard for you. I'm so sorry. You know, that doesn't empower anyone. You know, but really listening for like, hey, like, so what's missing that would like make a difference for you if that were available, you know? So that's the kind of work that I uh, tra got trained in a little over a year ago, about, about around a year ago, I finished the course. So at any rate, I am coaching the uh, the, the next, now, the, I'm coaching the current um, Introduction Leaders program. So I'm gonna meet my, my participants uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna be coaching five people I have temporary participants who I'm coaching. You guys are all still wondering why there's a French-speaking woman on my couch who I cannot communicate with. I'll get to that in a minute. But at any rate, um, I met with um, some temporary participants. So participants who I, I am their temporary coach. So I was their like coach for a day. It was so empowering going out to lunch with these people today during the course. And like being with all their stuff. And, you know, I don't want to, and why, why this, and why that, and like, you can't tell me to blah, blah, blah. And just being like, all right, I got that, I got that. Now, what are you here for? Like, why leadership? Why integrity? Like, what's on the line for you in your life? What are you up to in your life that integrity and leadership mean anything to you? Like, why? Like, you can, you can totally get through life without integrity. You can do it. I mean, people do it all the time, you know. You can get through life without being a leader, you know. You can do that. So why are you here? Why are you here? Why is leadership important to you? And then I can help coach you through that, you know. And um, not in those words. It's not like what I said to anyone, but like that's the nature of the conversations that we had. And it was so incredible being able to listen to one person who went on and on and on for 15 minutes and said nothing. And I got to like coach them through that. I'm like, okay let's make this powerful, let's make this something that we can actually work with. And then one person who shared for like a minute and was just like, I don't wanna. And you know, in, in both cases, I was able to really make a difference for both people and really leave them like empowered, like leave them seeing that they have a say, leave them seeing that they have a choice in the matter and that they actually have a difference that they can make in their lives and in the communities that matter to them. Like I got to watch them just lit up. So that was really awesome. So at any rate, um, there's a lot of people who are taking this course, but they don't live in New York. Um, they might be taking the course where it's offered where they live, um, but for whatever reason, they weren't able to make it to this weekend long. Um, there's four like weekends throughout the seven or eight months of the course and you have to make it, those are mandatory and they're like big long weekend, like work days. So <clears throat> we have a lot of people who are visiting um, from Montreal, Toronto, um, Boston, um, Philadelphia, New Jersey, um, 
Mm -hmm. uh, and, and others, but like there's a lot of people from out of the area. And so at any rate, um, I was asked like, hey, can you host somebody tonight? And one of the participants is here from Montreal and she doesn't have a place to stay. And I was like, oh yeah, girl, no problem. I love having company. And then someone brings her over to me and she's looking at me just like, and I'm like, hey, so blah, blah, blah. And she's like, and this other guy from Montreal is like talking to her in French and talking to me in English. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm hosting someone who doesn't speak any English, but I'm like, it's all good. We have Google Translate. So I pull out the Google Translate app, I type and or speak into it, and then it translates in real time to French for her. And so I can communicate with her, but <laughs> I don't know if she doesn't get how to use the app, but like, she'll keep just speaking to me in French. Like, oh, je vous... and I'm like, I just don't know what you're saying. Um, and I speak in a little enough of, of a, a little bit of enough languages that I can kind of be like, where is this going? But literally, there was something she was trying to say earlier to me about me being a drag queen, and I had her speak into Google Translate, and it literally said like, did you shoot the hedgehog in July? And I'm like, <sighs> and this was in a reaction to her seeing a video of me doing a cooking demo in, in, in drag. And I'm like, I just don't think Google can help us. So there's quite a language barrier. But at any rate, she's a guest in my home for the night. Um, I need to get to bed now because I got to be like back up and there and like, I need to like basically be awake in six hours or so. Um, but um, it's so funny, like I'm going to, like I took her little homework sheet that says what the homework is and I like typed that into Google Translate, printed it out and I'm like, here you go, here's your homework in French. And then um, I just printed up, literally, I'm just like, I printed up like, I'm gonna be filming this YouTube video before I go to bed, and then I need to do this, and then I need to do that. If you need anything, please ask. And then I translated all that to French and gave it to her. And I printed out a menu for her. Um, she said she's fine. She's like, oh no, I don't, in French, through Google Translate, she said she's fine, she doesn't need anything. Um, and I'm like, well, in the morning for food, she's like, oh, I'll just go out and get some fruit or something. What do I do? I went and I bought bread and I bought peanut butter. And in case she was hungry before bed, I bought some penne and some marinara and some vegan ground beef to go in it. She's not vegan, I am, but you know, house rules. Um, I got some like Quaker instant oatmeal. I got some raisin bran and like, I spent $66 on food. <laughs> like in case she might, <laughs> why did I do that? <laughs> I mean, I can use all of that later. I, it's not imperishable, except for the bread. Um, and the funny thing is, I've actually decided, this is a, 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 a premature announcement, but I'm starting the master cleanse on Monday. I took a little video footage of like my gut busting through the buttons of my shirt today. By the way, I was wearing a, a button-down plaid dress shirt. Imagine for a moment what plaid looks like when you have like little like folds and like I'm so sorry I don't I don't mean to go there it's, it's, it's like I literally I feel back like I have back rolls I have back rolls right now I'm just gonna own that so plaid doesn't really look good on that <laughs> it just it just like shows like a grid of problem areas is like literally what I'm wearing today and then it occurred to me like people are used to what I look like I'm not so like to me, I'm looking down and it's a news flash that I don't look great. And other people are just like, meh, you look like you usually do. So anyway, um, I'm starting the master cleanse, not to Monday, Monday, I'm starting the master cleanse. It's Saturday now as I record this. Um, so anyway, um, I'm just gonna quickly acknowledge one or two things that happened today just because today is September, whatever today is. I think it's the 18th, 17th, I don't know, anyway. Today, this morning in Secaucus, New Jersey, um, a pipe bomb went off prior to some 5K run that they had organized. Um, no one was injured and um, they called off the race. Um, and then this evening at 9 p.m., there was an explosion on 23rd Street between 6th and 7th Avenues in Chelsea. Um, it terrifies me to think about because that's right by um, Terry this vegan restaurant that I love, it's like right across the street. Thankfully, they're in between 6th and 5th, so they're not by the affected area immediately, but 
it was some sort of an explosion that went off in a dumpster. I'm pretty sure, you know, man-made. It looked like that kind of a thing, apparently. And 25 people were injured. Um, doesn't sound like anyone died, thank God. Um, and the uh, suspect came forward. So, like, pretty good circumstances, all things considered. How is this a 10-minute video already? This was supposed to be a super short video to say, I basically can't record a video today. But all of that said, there's something really powerful that I heard today that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I want to be careful to not present this information as if it's my own. Um, and so I'm not like copying anything and giving it to you guys, but it's just sort of my thoughts that um, arose out of a conversation we had tonight. Uh, and forgive me, I might kind of look at the little class notes I jotted down because I really wanted to share this with you guys, so I kind of captured it on paper. I hope you guys can hear me okay. I can't imagine that I'm hard to understand. I'm sorry that you have to be this in my face, but that's just, I'm literally, where am I? I'm, I won't pan down because I'm in my underwear, but I'm literally sitting backwards on the toilet seat facing my essential oil medicine cabinet, sitting backwards on the toilet. Um with the camera like wedged into my essential oil cabinet. So I'm like making do and creating a space wherever I can to record. So here's what I heard today. All of us, each and every one of us, we all have crazy thoughts that go through our head, right? Like stuff that we would never admit to a human being, but these crazy thoughts still go through our head. Like for example, if even though I'm vegan and I'm an animal rights activist, every now and then I'll see like a teeny, tiny, tiny little dog and I'll just think to myself like, I wonder how far I could kick that dog. Like, why, why would I think that? Why would that thought go through my head? I don't want to kick a dog. I, but that thought still goes through my head, right? Um, sometimes you'll see like subway drivers like with like their head is sticking out the subway as the subway is like moving down the train. And I've always wanted to just like, just like put my hand out and like slap one of them as they go by. That's ridiculous. I would never do that. And yet that thought goes in my, through my head. Somehow when I'm in a store and like the door to the outside is open and I like have something in my hand and I haven't paid for it yet, sometimes I think how funny would it be? Not funny, but how much damage could I do if I just took a bunch of merchandise and threw it out the door, like started taking oranges and throwing them into the street, or started taking like beer bottles and like rolling them out the store, you know? Like, I don't know why that thought goes through my head. And when it does, I recognize that as a crazy thought. Like I can recognize that. I'm like, that is a crazy, ridiculous thought. Like who would, ever, I'm not gonna act on that. That's crazy, right? I don't want to act on that. It's just a thought that's going through my head, right? And we can laugh at those thoughts, right? Because they're funny. And why are they funny? Not because they're funny. It wouldn't be funny if I did those things. They're funny because we see how ridiculous they are and how disconnected from reality they are and how stupid they are. And so we just let those thoughts pass, right? We don't interact with those thoughts. But we have other thoughts that pass through our head, right? Like, I'm not good enough, or they don't like me, or I can't, or I'm not a morning person. Those kind of thoughts go through our head all the time. And we interact with those thoughts we generate ourselves from those thoughts. We come from those thoughts. We let those thoughts be the source of the actions we take. We act as if those thoughts are true. And we act, we live our lives as though those thoughts are real things. Like, I'm not a morning person. Oh, that's a thing that I am not. That's ridiculous. If someone cut me open and looked inside me, would they find lazy? Would they find not a morning person? Would they find can't be on Broadway? You know, when I was born, did the doctor look at me and say, oh, this one, he's not gonna honor his word. Boom. Like, 
none of those are facts about me. None of those are facts about my life or about what's possible. And yet, we interact with those thoughts. We have conversations with those thoughts. We hear those thoughts and we respond to them as if they are the truth, as if they're real. The idea that passes through my head that says, I can't do this, the idea that passes through my head that says, I don't want to get out of bed today, is as real and as credible as the thought that tells me, I wonder how far I could kick this dog or how much merchandise I could throw out of this store before someone stopped me, you know? Or like if I could slap the subway driver, like all of those thoughts are as ridiculous as each other, but some of those thoughts, we will pick them up and we will entertain them and we will live our lives as though those thoughts are true and real things about us that have anything to do with us. And they don't. So I was very empowered by that today. Um, and that's one of the reasons I really decided to make a change. I've been avoiding, with you guys, I've been avoiding the issue of my health for the most part. Um, by the way, I realized I did not do my morning, my mountain climbers this morning. It's late and I'm just going to go to bed at this point. Um, so tomorrow I'm accountable for doing one minute, 20 seconds of mountain climbers. Um, that's not what I gave my word to and it's not perfect, but I'm just going to jump right back in first thing in the morning. But, um, one of the things that came up today is, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of people who are 210 pounds and six foot one. And for them that works, that does not, and 23% body fat, that does not work for me. I do not feel good. I don't feel comfortable in this skin bag the way it, the way it is right now. Um, and I really need to do something about that because if I don't, then what's predictable is tomorrow is going to be a lot like today and a lot like yesterday. And I'm going to have all the same things that I don't want and I'm going to be the same way that I am right now. So um, I'm going to do the, mo the mountain, the mountain cleanse. <laughs> I'm going to go out, climb a mountain and do the morning. But you see, but I need to go to bed. So I'm going to do the master cleanse on Monday. Um, I'm committing to doing it for 30 days. Don't worry. Don't panic. I've done it for 21 days before. I love it. My body loves it. My body like immediately is like, oh, it's kind of like when you tell a dog you're going outside. My body's like, oh, we're doing that cleanse. I love that cleanse. Awesome. And I have so much energy. I don't feel hungry. My skin, my skin. I have this really uncomfortable zit right here. And it, it feels like a grapefruit to me. And it's so painful. And I feel a little zits coming in under the surface and one underneath my eyebrow. And I know it's just from eating like crap and drinking Red Bull all day and all of that. So anyway, I don't know how a video with no editing and no fancy music or sound effects is already longer than some of my nicer videos. But uh, I'm going to end there. Um, Y'all, in case you take away nothing else from this episode, just take away that there is a, a French-speaking woman sleeping on my couch right now. <laughs> and we don't share a common language. And it's like awkward, but like it's so wonderful because I know that she's come all this way to do exactly what I'm trying to do, to make a difference in the world and to empower people to fulfill on whatever is important to them and whatever really matters to them. Like, and she's, she's putting herself in a situation where she doesn't speak the language and she has to rely on someone to take her in and put her on her couch so that she can be here and make that difference in the world. And I'm so inspired by that. It is a little awkward. But anyway, um, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in every day and for sharing all this with me. Um, if I can't keep this under 10 minutes, I know I can keep it under 20, so I'll wrap up. Um, I just want to say, by the way, if you guys aren't familiar with me across the board, Honey LeBronx is all my social media. I'm on Periscope, Instagram, um, Twitter. Please follow me in all those places. You can also check out my um, Vegan Drag Queen Cooking Show. Look at the rest of my YouTube channel. I have a lot of other cool videos. I do vegan song parodies. Um, me and Bob the Drag Queen used to like sing TV theme songs. Why? I don't know. So stupid, but people seem to like it. You can also see my cooking shows and other live performances, so check that out on YouTube. 
please don't forget to like this video and comment and subscribe. I'm like 25 subscribers away from 3,000. Once you get 3,000 subscribers, YouTube like lets you use their studios. So let's make that happen, right? In one week, I'm sure we can get me 25 more subscribers. I'm going to end right now. I'm going to keep my word and keep it under 20 minutes. I love you guys. Bye.